Hello, good vibe, bro. How are you doing today? Okay, you already know it's your girl, Lester Joy, coming at you. We're going to be talking about manifestation, okay? How to manifest using your root chakra, okay? And you know that your girl loves to talk about the chakras. And this is going to be a full information-filled, impactful video. So stay to the end to really understand and deepen your connection with the root chakra and how to utilize it best in your everyday life to manifest, okay? So without further ado, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in and let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it for a moment because it's really, really interesting. The root chakra is the first of the chakras in the seven body chakra system. Now disclaimer, there are so many more systems than just the seven body chakra system. There are millions, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say millions of different energy body systems. But we are using the seven body chakra system because it lines up with the colors very nicely. It also lines up a lot with other systems very nicely and is pretty much a basic universally understood system that we can branch off from. Okay, so enough to chat about that. Starting out, we're going to be talking about the root chakra. Now the nature of the root chakra, I'm not going to bore you. Just wanted to let you know that it is the closest energy frequency that we can see and perceive of. So what does that mean? Well, red is low vibration, meaning that the light oscillations, the frequency that the light is moving at a wavelength is the lowest and it takes the longest and it seems to be the closest to us. And it's actually kind of a comforting feeling. I don't know about you, but when I have a certain energy of red, my eyes they are comfortably, you know, attuned. They don't need to, like, dilate. They're just chilling. Okay. So, <laughs> that's another side note. Let's just get into the juicy stuff, okay? Enough to chat. It's time to get into the juicy stuff, okay? So, manifestation. You want to use your root chakra to manifest. Well, there are many, many ways that we can use this. And I'm going to be talking about three different techniques and three different aspects of your life that you should look at when you are using your root chakra to manifest, okay? We're gonna be looking at the mind, the body, and the soul. Now, starting out with the mind, okay? We're gonna look at the mind first. When we're using our root chakra to manifest, it's really important to know that this is our daily routines. And when that is tied with the mind these are the thoughts that we have on a day-to-day -day basis this could be like i gotta wake up again i gotta brush my teeth i gotta take the kids to school i gotta drive to work i gotta one after the other and these thoughts in our mind they're so repetitive they're so much ingrained in a part of our daily day-to-day -day life that a lot of the times that we're not very conscious of them because they come so naturally now when you are wanting to manifest when you are using your root chakra and this mental aspect of the root chakra, it's really important for you to ingrain that manifestation as a part of your daily routine in the mental world, okay? So even if the physical has not shown you what you are wanting to manifest, still in your mind, include it in your mental reality because that's where the thought forms begin to be created. So what does this look like? Let me give you a quick example. Let's say that Janet, she goes to her nine to five every day. She comes home and she really just thinks thinks about how she's struggling so much financially and that it is so hard for her to stay at her job because she hates her boss and these are regular thoughts that are is a routine for her to think about and whether she realized it or not she was creating more of that in her reality more of that for her to perceive because that is what she had going on in her mental day-to-day -day routine which is the most powerful essence of mind because once you get something and you keep thinking about it and it becomes a habit it is easier and easier for you to think of that thing so why do we want our manifestation to become a part of our daily routine because we want our mind to remember and make it easier and easier for us to think about what we are wanting to manifest so that we we begin to steer our literal not only our thought forms that are creating but our body is moving towards that manifestation as well so really making sure that you are using your root chakra every single day you are grounding into what you are wanting to manifest whether that is a feeling whether that is a place whether that is an, a physical object whatever it is 
implement it in your daily routine through whatever means necessary so that it is a part of your mental routine and what you are thinking on a daily basis. If you just think about your manifestation once and really think about it with me and never again, do you really think that that one thought was powerful enough to not be overtaken by all of the other thoughts that you have on a day-to-day -day basis. So if Janice is wanting to manifest money, one of the mental routines that she should implement in her day-to-day -day life and think about is, I'm so thankful for the money that I have. I'm so thankful that there are more opportunities than ever for me to receive an increased amount of abundance. I am so thankful. And maybe implementing just those thoughts of gratitude for the abundance she has will open her up to seeing the opportunities that are within her realm. And we're going to get into the next aspect of manifestation and using your root chakra to manifest which is the body and this is really really impactful all three of these aspects go together the mind the body and the soul but when we talk about the mind connecting to the body maybe just having a post-it note and this is why vision boards are so impactful for some people because they can visually see that which they are wanting to create every single day in their physical reality they can visually see it so therefore it is a part of their daily mental routine of what they are thinking about so how can you my friend my good viber friend implement your manifestation into your daily thought routine into your daily mind routine into what you think every day how can you implement that think about that allow yourself to uncover the answer okay so moving towards the body okay so we talked about the mind we talked about really implementing that manifestation into your everyday routine okay it needs to be something you think about every single day if you're wanting the energy to become easier and gain momentum for you okay moving on to the body now when it comes to the root chakra the body being physically in your body is one of the best things that you can do. Yes, go outside, go stand on the ground, earth yourself, okay? Balance your electromagnetic poles. That's awesome. That's something that I 100% recommend that you should do at least once a week. But on the other hand, we're really going to be talking about the body. How are you nourishing yourself? And what do I mean by nourishing? I don't mean, oh, lavishly giving yourself bubble baths all the time and, you know, reclining back and just allowing yourself to just take in the luxuries of life, though that is included. More importantly, it is important for you to nourish yourself with what you are wanting to manifest. So surround your physical surrounding, your immediate physical surrounding with items in your physical world that will remind you of what you are manifesting, such as a vision board. And that's why we touched on a vision board. That's a great way to get it into your mental routine. It's also a great way for you to physically see that every single day. Taking a step further, if you're wanting to manifest something, you need to think, how can I nourish this in the physical reality? If you are wanting to manifest something and you are using your root chakra, and we're going to be going over all the chakras in separate videos, how can you nourish your manifestation in the physical reality? How can you, you know, what does that mean for you? What does that mean for you taking physical space and time to honor and acknowledge your manifestation? How are you doing that? How is it showing up into your reality? And the last point I wanted to talk about in the body when it comes to manifesting using your root chakra is being really present with your body and being resourceful. A lot of people, I think, they're when it comes to manifestation, they're like, I cannot do this unless I have this. You know, I can't make money unless I have the experience or something like that. And the truth of the matter is that you have everything you need right here in this moment to begin creating your manifestation to begin nourishing that into existence so being resourceful using your root chakra to really be aware of your physical surroundings being aware of what is being given to you of what you do have you know access to in order to manifest what you are wanting is very important it is so important that i'm going to reiterate it one more time Number two, when you are in your body, not only should you surround your physical body with 
things that are going to remind you of what you are manifesting, but it's so important for you to nourish yourself by understanding that everything in your physical reality is a tool that you can use to get closer and nourish yourself towards that manifestation. And I'm using the word nourish or nurture yourself, okay, to really groom and condition yourself for this manifestation. There is never going to be a time where you might feel like you have enough. So you need to understand that right now you have everything you need to go towards where you are wanting to create, okay? And go towards what you're wanting to receive, okay? So that is number two. In the body, you need to be physically aware of what's going on in your surroundings. You need to bring your manifestation into your physical reality, not only with vision boards or a sticky note just to remind you. If you're wanting to get really buff, then maybe just have a sticky note that reminds you of an exercise routine you can do. Make these immediate actions that you can do in the present moment if that is the case. If it's something a little bit more far-fetched, then just make sure like put a reminder down put a sticky note down okay i can create this and today i'm going to find a new way that i can really see my manifestation into the physical so surround your yourself with people surround yourself with things surround yourself with that energy of your manifestation even if it is not your manifestation, just allowing yourself to be surrounded by that energy allows that manifestation to come in your immediate vicinity. This is so important. So where you sleep and where you spend most of your time in this physical reality, that is where you are setting up your manifestation um, energy. That is where that energy is lying. Okay, before I go too much more on a rant, let's go to the last the last aspect of the root chakra to be aware of when you are manifesting okay and that is soul okay on the soul level what do we need to know about the root chakra well the root chakra is where our physical reality our being is the densest and a lot of people are like oh no you know density it's so heavy it's so constricting well it's very good we need things to be constricted and when it comes to the root chakra and manifestation you need to understand what limits are set in place for your manifestation okay i talked about this in a previous video really just talking about setting limits for your manifestation i'm gonna hit the nail on the head on this video because if you do not have limits and these are the kind of limits i'm talking about what is the time limit okay when are you trying to finish this manifestation when is it going to be in fruition for you having a time limit is so important to really setting the energy in place so it can start to manifest at that you know time and of course it's all in divine timing but really having a window or idea and a goal that you are reaching towards as well as being aware of other limits that do not serve you okay so what you know where <laughs> what where who how setting limits like that okay what am i manifesting who is it for how is it going to look like um how is it going to how am i going to get there okay uh all of those questions are great to ask setting limits okay when you set limits when you add a shadow you create more shape to your manifestation okay so by adding these limits you are creating an easier streamlined way for that energy to go okay without having limits that manifestation energy is going everywhere by setting limits and that's what the root chakra is all about really showing us the physical limits of our body and our vessel in this reality it allows us to streamline that energy so that my finger is my finger okay it is not you know some other fluctuating energy it is what it is and setting those kind of manifestation limits okay what are you manifesting having a clear idea will really streamline your energy and your focus so that you are more able and easily able to make it a routine for you to think about to add it into your physical reality okay because the more specific you can get with these limits the easier it is for you to structure your being around it and position yourself for your manifestation so without further ado fam press the thumbs up right now if you found this video to be of value i'm going to do a quick recap just so you guys remember you can leave this in the comments if you really want to instill it in your mind and of course add on anything because again i'm just sharing what has worked for me and um through the chakras so 
number one is your mind make sure that you're thinking about your manifestation every single day make your manifestation a part of your mental routine okay that's number one number two nurture your manifestation in the physical reality you there's no su there's no such thing as not enough resources just not resourceful enough so make nourish your manifestation in the physical okay how are you allowing yourself to be open to that energy nourish your physical body in that manifestation energy and number three is give yourself limits give yourself limits to focus give yourself a clear idea and vision what is the time frame who is this for what is this going to feel like when it comes you know how am i going to get there you know you might not have the answer to all of these questions but it's so powerful just asking yourself these questions so that you are better able to focus that energy on what you are truly wanting to manifest so without further ado fam i really do uh, want to say thank you so much for watching all the way through i appreciate you so so much and i hope that you have an amazing day and that these tips help you as you continue your manifestation and soul journey i'm so excited to do the rest of the chakras as we move forward and i will see you in future videos also if you're interested in the chakras and you would like to join my chakra course it is now open for pre-sales so definitely check that out it's really going to be super awesome and you'll not only be getting a lot of value but you'll also be helping us as well so i really do hope to see you there fam and without further ado have an amazing day namaste